Okay, so, um, I forget the name of the gentleman uh, that was asking about uh, this adjusting. You can see, I don't, there it goes. I don't use mine much. I always have it set on low. So anyway, but that's all it takes is moving that back and forth. Tip this down. And this is my current machine. I don't know if you can see. Alright, so obviously I've got to clean this out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've cleaned this one. But that adjustment is. I'm going to pull this apart here anyway because I have to change the brush. So let me get this apart here and then I'll get back to you. Well, actually, yeah, so all I have to do, you have two screws. Yeah, that screw there. This is pretty simple. Pop that out. Yeah, it's time for cleaning. Pop that off. Grab the belt. Look at the difference in the belts. Brand new belt. Old belt. That's how much it stretches. Check out the difference in brush length. See the difference there? You, know, you put a new brush on this, it's just like a brand new machine. So then you have these things. And uh, I have to reuse these because I little felts in here that uh, make the seal. So I'm just going to reuse these. They normally come with the brushes, and I guess I forgot them out in the truck or something like that. But I'm going to take and knock all this dust out of here. You can check your hose. Make sure that's all clear. You can see right through that. If you wanted to, you can take this off, two screws, and then that adjuster is back up in there. That's it. Be right back. I got this, got the pieces pulled off there, pulled this off. I'm just going to fire it up here. Work it from the, from the bottom.
So here's that slider right there. That's your adjustment, height adjustment. That's on low. That goes up there. So that's affecting how this piece slides. Or this piece here. I'm not actually sure <laughs> what it does. Somehow it affects the height there. You really can't even see how it's doing it. But. Anyway, that's what it does. If you're ever wondering about the catch, there's the catch there. And you can see how it's wearing a bit. And so it'll... What I do is I, when I drop the thing, I always pull this down and then move it down. And then when I'm setting it back up so it doesn't wear on it quite as much. So then it always catches. And it's not wearing that out. So anyway, just vacuum that off, do that. Uh, but again, change your brushes. Like look at the, look at the difference in brush length. Just in those two. That little bit of brush length sure makes a difference when you're vacuuming. Wish I could get a picture there. There. About there. Snap. And again, there's your belts. So when your belts start getting worn, change them out. That one's getting pretty darn thin, but that's, that belt there's at least nine months old, you know. So, time for a new one. And that's about it. Um, you know, put everything back together. Everything should work just nicely. When you put the belt back, brush back in, uh, I got, I'll need two hands to do this. But you put this side in first. Actually, what you do is you take your belt, slip it around the shaft. So you get the belt around the shaft there. And then you take this part, And you pull, and I need both hands, but you pull it and then slip it into that square. And uh, just one sec here. Oh, that's a first. I'm trying to do it one handed. There we go. There. It slides right up in there. You take and rotate the shaft a bit of the piece and it'll just slide right in there. Then you take and spin the brush. Rotate the brush a bit. And what that does is seat it it seats the belt on the brush, so now it spins freely. Once you got that on there, I'll have to put that back on later. That's pretty easy. This just slips in there. There. And you put, then I'll put, uh, screw this piece back in. that
pink your hose. Stick that in there. Put that on there. I got the right ends. This slides right on there. You just turn it a little bit and it slides right in there. There, that's all there is to that. My storage room needs a lot of cleaning out. So, get the brush back on here. Change that to floor. Fire it up. You vacuum up your floor again. This is like a new machine. Just digs right in there. I'm not going to pick that up. That's not going to vacuum up. So. There's nothing coming in there now. Like I said, you step on that. Don't step on the cord at the same time. Bring it up, release that. That'll save that little clip. And I gotta fix that piece, the rubber there. Yeah, so there, that's how you do that. 12 minute video, make sure you skip ahead. <laughs>